I'm on a mission to visit every dispensary in the West Coast and beyond. Come along with me on my journey, one dispensary at a time. Today we visited, or I visited, 10 more dispensaries, this time in downtown Los Angeles, and I'm super excited to go over everything and everywhere I went with you guys. I filmed the outsides and the insides of all the dispensaries in downtown LA. It's just an experience for you guys to see kind of what I do, where I go, what it looks like going into a dispensary, and if you guys want to go to it or not, because every dispensary is for a different type of personality. They all have different styles. There are the cleaner organized ones, there's the 7-Eleven ones, there's the get in, get out, know exactly what you want ones, and I think you guys should see all of them. And I'm just super excited to be able to do that today. So let's go ahead and get started. Starting off, I wanna break down Los Angeles. I am gonna put the little map of LA and kind of the surrounding cities up here so you guys can see what I'm talking about as I'm talking. When we break down Los Angeles, we are gonna break this down into multiple areas. There is downtown Los Angeles, there is Silver Lake Side, which is a little more up. There is Hollywood Studio City. There's Beverly Hills Side. And then we can go all the way down to the coast to Santa Monica, Venice Beach. And specifically in this video, we are going to talk about 10 dispensaries in downtown Los Angeles. I'm going to show you guys the map. Now, I'm also going to show you guys the map of what it looks like when you look up dispensary in downtown Los Angeles. And the reason I'm excited to make this video is to show you guys that the map, number one, some of it's wrong, some of them are changing names, some of them don't exist. Some are trap spots and I want you to know what you're pulling up to so you don't have to pull up like me and be confused as to why you're there. This time, I typed up on my laptop where I went, and I tried to go in a circle so that I didn't have to go back and forth across downtown LA, because where something may say five to 10 miles away, that could put you an hour away if you need to get on a freeway or take a back road and be stop and go and stop and go, and you don't wanna be stuck there for 20, 30 minutes trying to go to 10 different spots like me. But I dedicated my whole day to going around downtown Los Angeles to visit these dispensaries for you guys. So we're going to start talking about them. I also want to clarify, I am going through 10 dispensaries, but this is not a list based on number one is the best and number 10 is the worst. This is just the order that I went in and individually I will rank and talk about the dispensaries and what I thought of them. And as we get through each territory and get through more of LA, Hollywood, Studio City, Silver Lake, we'll visit Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, and Venice Beach. Then I'll make a true top 10, what are the best 10 dispensaries to visit and best as in the experience, they have an arrangement of products, they have great customer service, parking, you feel comfortable going there and it's a spot you wanna keep going to and building that loyalty to. Or is it a spot that is just purely for just you to have fun? Is it just because it looks beautiful, it has that legacy spot? There's different reasons people go to dispensaries. And I wanna show you guys each dispensary. Now, the first one I visited in downtown LA is very dear to my heart. I am so excited to be talking about it because they not only gave me the chance to shop, but I also got to pick up Kalia there and I am so grateful and thankful that they now have Kalia and they will soon have community in Jungle Boys and it just it makes me so happy to see the product in there. So to start off, I also did, this is not the bag you normally get at Jungle Boys anymore or for the product size I got. I ended up getting Jungle Boys flour and I got our rosin, I got Kalia garlic cocktail rosin, that's what in the beginning of the video I was holding in my hand. That's the product that I was holding in the beginning of the video. I was holding the rosin so that by the time I get to this point, I can take a dab and try it, and you guys will get to see me do it, and it's not gonna be cold or frozen, it's gonna be room temp and ready. So, back to my point, Jungle Boys is near and dear to my heart, not only because they picked up Kalia, but because I've also been going there for years, and this to me is a legacy spot, just in general, 
downtown LA. It's a, definitely just a spot where if you are a tourist and you want to come check out a giant dispensary, this is one of the places to go that will have good quality product. Their pricing, first time, second, third visit, they have really great deals. I don't want to speak on the deals because if you go a few months later and they change, it could be completely different from what I'm saying right now. And that's irrelevant to going. Like, I want to go here because I love this dispensary. And to me, it's a staple spot in Southern California that if you have been in this game for 10 years, plus even just jumping in and you go to SoCal, you will learn about Jungle Boys. That is one of the staple spots that you will learn about. I will also include me going up. They do have a merch spot, which I love. It is a little smaller than it used to be back in the day. And I do believe I either have a photo or a video of me going there and it was bigger. They used to have a lot more merch. It's not bigger. I would say they just had more merch options. They used to have all these different colored shirts that matched all the strains on their logos and everything and they used to print them. Now it seems like they do a lot more just the plain white Jungle Boys and just different colored t-shirts. They had a couple bags. They had a stash bag, a backpack, and then lanyards and stuff. But I really came to check out the dispensary. So, ah, that was just exciting for me. There it is, the big TLC. The dispensary got the rosin and the jungle boys flower and now i want to go into the clothing store what i want to buy is collective here in LA but got some housing got some flower didn't get any merch it's getting expensive for their merch and I have a lot of it at home I have a bag I have never even opened Cassidy has a bag of mine she has to give it back so from like two years ago so don't need millions of more bags but I do love their merch they have good quality stuff this store is actually a really good price and has really good deals you should definitely check this spot out so first thing we know what Kalia is. I got the Kalia garlic cocktail. We're gonna take a dab of that in a second. This is one of the most exciting things to me. I got their flower. It used to come in a black mylar bag and this label, this beautiful sticker you guys see on the outside used to be printed on those mylars and people would fly for them. Like this is what people used to go to for. Ooh, and what did I get? I got apple jam. I was like, did I get apple mints or apple jam? Let me not lie. Mm. This bud structure, beautiful. I'm going to show you guys apple jam. I'll get closer and do a close up. But this is going to be one of my favorite flower smokes out of this whole series. Um, and I'm just going to say it because I know they have good flower. And out of what I picked up and filmed, I know the quality of what I got already. So I know some are going to be hit and miss. Some are going to be more budget options as well. And that's what I always think of too. Not everyone is going in. Looking for a $70 eighth and Jungle Boys for the quality. They do have their own grow. They have their own products, but they do pick up other products. They do have really good flour and generally it's anywhere between 25 to 50 an eighth, depending on what you get it, what batch, blah, 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 how it's packaged, etc., etc. It all just really comes down to that. What is the time, effort, marketing, money, and material, and what products do they have? And I'm super excited, like I said, that they have call you now. So let's go ahead. Get into a dab of this garlic cocktail. I also have the Pearl charge in it. This is the Puffco Pro V2 Pearl. People were asking to see it, if I had it. I do have it. The white one is actually mine. The black one is the one I use for team and events, but the white one is the one that is actually my Puffco. And I will do a video talking about the difference between the original, just Pro, 
the V2 Pro with this 3DX atomizer and the 3DXL. Someone asked for a comparison. We will get that done. Let's go ahead, get a glob in here. This also just has the white Pro atomizer. I just wanted to bring it out just to show everyone what it looks like. So when it lights up, people are questioning like, is this base lighting up? Now in the dark, it lights up a little bit more and you can see the lights do kind of come through out on it, but it's not like clear to where you're seeing it completely and it's like you're seeing the actual light bulb, it's just kind of peeking through. For anyone asking, no, I did not hit this with water. I, well, again, I'm traveling all the time, started this up, charged it, didn't remember to put water. It's not a requirement to put water in your bong or your puffco. It's a choice up to you. It does help it so you can have a little bit smoother of a dab if you want to put water in it. But for me, I want that straight turf taste, so I'm just going to hit it. But that's a good start to this video. Definitely love the garlic cocktail. If you want something sweet but has that citrusy, I mean, just imagine her just having like a garlic OJ in the morning. Amazing. Okay, so first stop was Jungle Boys. I think that's enough talk about Jungle Boys for now. My next stop was another staple that has become a staple more recently in the market, which was visiting Traditional. All right, we're at Traditional. So let's go ahead and go in and check out their store. Maybe get some traditional flour, or like a pre-roll or something. I just want to get something affordable here. Traditional. Where did I put my driver's license? This store is huge. And I went and got a traditional pre-roll. I was really sad because I wanted to get the lollipops. And lollipops, it's this bright blue jar. They're known for their jars. I filmed the inside going into the store too. And they have giant displays of their jars as tables. I'll show you guys. Teal jar on the back corner there. Oh, right there. They have the flower here. Then you can smell it all. The bright blue turquoise teal Tiffany, very bright blue bottle. That one is the lollipops. If you want to try something from ah. If you want to try something from traditional, try the lollipops. It's never a miss. It's one of my favorites. No sponsorship by Jungle Boys or traditional or any of the brands or dispensaries in here. By the way, this is just my choice and love of sharing the products when I do share them with you guys. So traditional is here. You can actually smoke this as we're going through the rest. So let me go get a lighter and we'll smoke this traditional pre-roll as we go through this video. All right. So, we got the traditional pre-roll. How long am I on? I'm like 10 minutes almost. Okay, so we got the traditional. I got the gelato flour pre-roll. Let's go ahead and pop this open. They do put their own traditional logo on the pre-roll paper. Let's go ahead and get this lit up so we can try it and then start speeding up this haul. As well as let's get a little ashtray for this. What are we gonna use? I have one. Got it. Empty glass jar is an like ashtray. Let's go. This is great. Okay, so traditional. Second stop on the list, I love the traditional branding, what they do with their brand, how their store looks. They don't have Call Your Community, but they have consistent flour that I love. They do have other brands as well, so if you go into a traditional or a Jungle Boys or a Stizzy, don't worry that it's just going to be all them. They do have their great and amazing brand line products, but a lot of them do have other brands and products so that you can try different things. Traditional, 
amazing definitely a store to visit if you want to just try good high-end flour you want something that is going to be easy to smoke something that is going to be affordable especially at the flagship stores for locations of brands or if they have a direct-to-consumer platform you're always going to find something more affordable going that route next is cookies downtown la all right so we are going to cookies which is in downtown la and a place i actually came to a long long time ago for a party for a sesh not like a party sesh but yeah let's go to cookies and we're gonna see blue when we round this freaking corner yep we start seeing blue downtown LA. Um, this one is a coronet and they have the they do have the bank rolls that everyone else has. Ooh. And the classic cookies flower but I don't know why some of those are empty. But that's classic to cookies. Side of cookies is so cool. The Chevy Impala. And the calling community. Now it's funny to me, cookies downtown LA gave me a paper bag and it's just literally for one thing. Uh, they didn't have any mini ones. Like, look at Men Men's. They give you this cute mini bag. Cookies gives you this one here in downtown LA. And then the other one I went to, which was on the other side in Hollywood, gave me a Mylar bag. So each cookies kind of gives you different things based on which part of the cookies group you are going to. But at Cookies, I got something exciting too. This is flour that I will really like just because I know I've tried it before as well. I try when I go here to get an assortment of things, but also make sure that this is something me or my team members will really, really enjoy so that I'm not just buying stuff to dump and throw, but stuff that's going to have an intention in use. So at Cookies Downtown LA, what I liked about it, it's easy to get to. They also have the giant lowrider for cookies inside that store. It's really, really cool. They have the flower bar where you can check everything out. This store is huge, the one in downtown LA. It's massive. They also have like the bank rolling style for where all the products are kept. But I got the preferred gardens flower. Now this one is runs. And I believe they are sun grown light depths. So they do have light assist with their flower. I don't believe they're fully indoor. I could be wrong, but from to my knowledge, that is what they are. Maybe they do have some fully indoor lines or some premium lines, but Preferred Gardens has really consistent flower, something that's always usually under 50 bucks. So for someone looking for a very quality flower for an affordable price, you're gonna get that with Preferred Gardens. Next up on the list is Med Men, downtown LA. Okay, first time I want to take one and put it home, and then we're gonna go up this like, little thing. I don't know, maybe this pops in. I've never tried this brand, but they look good. Oh my gosh, look how cute this bag is. It's tiny. Uh, as I had said before, the bag, super cute, tiny, not functional as much for like a reuse bag, but. I guess maybe a gift card or a mini gift or someone, but you also don't want to just give a branded bag and then get the same MedMen and not give them cannabis products. But what I got from MedMen was edibles. One was a brownie mix, and it's a small one. And how many milligrams? 10 milligrams in this. So maybe it'll make like just a tiny little brownie, little brownie cookie. And then I did get a Snickerdoodle edible cookie. And I don't know what is the brand on these. Capsoil. No, powered by Capsoil technology. Manufactured by Earth Blend Incorporated. It's all about choices.us. Huh. Hmm. It's the brand. Okay. Moving on. Men Men has a nice location. I will say 
The two hardest on this list to park at would be the MedMen location, I believe, which wasn't too horrible. It's just in downtown LA, so that one was just, you had to have the right spot and timing or park and walk up. Or if you're staying in downtown LA, MedMen was walkable from being in the centrally downtown LA side, like the Grand Central Market. Um, if you were up towards Koreatown, it might still be a little farther from you. Next up was Green Queen, which was the same experience. Like I said, parking can be hit or miss. There is, I think, back parking, but for me, I hate having to do a back lot parking lot in the downtown that I don't know the area and I can't see my car. So that's the only thing that may be a con on MedMen and Green Queen. Other than that, everywhere else had parking lots, places to park in front at the dispensary where either a security guard was watching or you were in a more gated dispensary area. So that's just my little two tips on that. As far as customer service at Green Queen as well, they were super nice. The staff is knowledgeable. Spot, I bought the salt and vinegar crackers. I've never tried them before so I thought that would be something to pick up, something to try, somewhere to go, something to do. I have been to Green Queen before but not in a minute and I wanted to check stuff out. I already got flour, pre-rolls, hash, and I thought let's try some edibles as you saw me with MedMen so this was my edible part of the trip. Just a little backup for MedMen. It's a nice store. When you go in they have everything laid out on nice wooden tables. It's an open floor concept. You grab, you pick up, you get in line, you check out. This one was something that was easy to do at MedMen both times when I went. You'll see in another video. It was an easy get in, get out. What I love too is the staff's there to help you and they will talk to you, but they're not in your face like, what do you need right now? Which sometimes to me stresses me out and makes me pick something in a rush rather than being able to choose and take my time and ask questions, which I love. All right. Next up, after Green Queen, I went to Sweet Flower downtown LA. Sweet Flower is a mini chain. I believe there's three to four stores. There's one in downtown LA that I went to. All right, now we have Sweet Flower. What is this, number eight or number nine? Sweet Flower. This is less options. That's really cool right there too. Tree. This spot, what did I get here? I got, this is the one where I lost it. Okay, back up. So luckily I did film going to Sweet Flower. I filmed the Grizzly Peak into Capri Roll. And then after unpacking all my stuff, getting home so I could literally film this, I literally got home last night really late and decided I needed to wake up first thing, film this fresh. So I had this for you guys. I just did the biggest tour of dispensaries ever but I lost that pre-roll. So at Sweet Flower, luckily, like I said, I filmed it. If you want a dispensary where you just come in and you don't need to make options, like you just want one to two different options so you can choose, do I want this flavor? Like, do I want cake? Do I want a sativa, you know, sherbet? Do I want some deep gassy indica? It's really like that to me, like you just have your choices, but they don't have 50 million things for you to get overwhelmed with. That's the reason you'd go to Sweet Flower is if you just want choices that are just easy to make. They don't have 50 of everything. They really just have a couple options so you get to choose what do you want out of those. Which may be limiting for someone who has a specific brand they like or type of edible they like or flower or concentrate or whatever. But that is an option for someone who doesn't want to have to make decisions and just wants to get in, get out and get going. Customer service was great. But it's one where, like I said, they are a little more hands-off at this one just because it's a smaller selection. You just really need to choose what you want, get in, and then get out of there. Also, this was the one where there was a really nice checkout girl. She was super nice. She had this cute bow on the back of her. I would say when it came to checkout, they were really friendly. They were helpful, knowledgeable, answered any questions I had, asked if I needed lost anything. But as far as letting me shop, they really just let me pick, choose what I want, go up to the register, and then have that moment to just check out. Number seven was Wonderland downtown LA. Wonderland, this one's historical to LA. I've just been here so many years ago now. And beautiful murals. Okay, 
Now this spot, let me tell you, talk about like sales and then knowing what to do and saying, hey, do you want this? I want, I went in because I wanted to get a pre-roll from Wonderland from their brand because they have their own in-house flower. I don't know if they white label and resell it or they grow indoors, but they have their own stuff. And it was like buy one for like three, four bucks or three for 10. And I just walked out with the three for 10. It was so fast, quick and done. And with taxes, it came out to $12.59. So their taxes aren't actually that bad. I guess three for 10, $3 tax is around the 30% tax. So it's not horrible. But I ended up getting three pre-rolls. They're all the same flavor. What are they? It says Wonderland Premium Pre-Roll. And then premium pre-roll 1.3 grams. Maybe the receipt tells me what's the flavor. Premium green roll, three for $9.99 only. Just premium green pre-roll. Okay, well, it's a premium green pre-roll, that's what it says. Let's open it. Green, what is green? What does that even mean? Oh. It's a big pre-roll. I don't want the traditional one to go out. But this is like, oh, this is like an earthy sativa. Um, it could be a mix of like a jack with a sativa on it or something. That's what I'm assuming. But yeah, so I ended up getting three for 10. As far as Wonderland, I will say this is a spot to me that it is it has the older style culture in it you're not going in for the newest flashiest stuff they do have an assortment of regular stuff you buy at a dispensary like your average brands there and edibles and everything but it is more central to wonderland and going to their land and trying out their products and everything so it's 50 50 if you go there you should check the menu first if you are someone who knows what you like and you want to go there for a reason you may not just want to pick up their affordable house pre-rolls i did it for wanting to do a show in this video and showing you guys what's going on what i purchased and doing a review on it later to talk about in-house flower and you know how brands grow and do things blah 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 etc we'll do a whole different video on that um but i just wanted to show you guys that and pick those up so that's just the experience I had with Wonderland. I think it's a beautiful spot. I think they have a great product assortment. I think it's between though to me like Sweet Flower and then going to like a giant Stizzy or Jungle Boys or Traditional where they're gonna have every option you could want and the best of the best versus Sweet Flower and Wonderland. Or, you know, they have a selection, they have options, but it's just not as much as if you went to a bigger major dispensary chain. But if you do like the whole old school culture, kind of more street vibes mixed in with like a little graffiti art, you will like Wonderland. And it does have very good affordable prices. Taxes are around 30% plus your products there. So just keep that in mind. Most of them, Jungle Boys had um, taxes included, which that excited me. Traditional had around 20% taxes. I'll just go through those real quick. MedMen gave you a deal for a first time customer, but was also around 30% taxes. Then we had Cookies Downtown LA. They also give you a discount on your first time inside there, but they didn't have too horrible of taxes. They're also pretty price inclusive on their online menus. It shows you what it should be out the gate. So you're not stressed out when it came to Green Queen. Um, I just have the crackers, so I don't have the receipt to remember, but it was around the same thing. The edibles were 10 bucks, and actually no, they were 10 bucks, and because I was a new customer, they were 10 bucks out the door. Um, I don't believe they tax a lot higher than most people. And then we went to Wonderland, and now we were cut up. So last two I went to was Arts District Cannabis Downtown LA, The Cure Company, and I hit Stizzy, sorry. We have three more to go. So we have Arts District, The Care Company, and then Stizzy. So Arts District, where is it now? Where did I get at Arts District? At Arts District, we went and got the Alien Labs Xeno pre-roll. Now Arts District, when you look it up on Google, is gonna show Coast to Coast or C3. That's their original brand and dispensary name, and they still have their Indoor Flowers C3 Coast to Coast brand. 
but the actual dispensary when you go in person says arts district I'll show you guys outside in the beginning of the video when you guys see the map you'll also see what I'm talking about but I just want to give that heads up and that's why I'm showing and talking about these dispensaries to you guys so if you go in person you don't make the same mistake that I do Coast to Coast, no, it's called Art District Cannabis, but it is Coast to Coast, powered by 3C. Oh, cool. I wrote here, but I was like, oh, it's just such a beautiful story. <laughs> And yeah, so as far as the Arts District, I would say it was a very nice place. They have an indoor grow. That was the coolest part about it, was walking in and seeing their little mini indoor grow. We're just going to put this pre-roll out. It was seeing their mini indoor grow, getting to take a video and photo of it. They also had a little art mural, mural wall going outside. But as far as products and like having millions of them, they really have more of their in-house lines and then very consistent high-end brands that have good sell-through like Alien Labs and those type of brands for collabs. Next up was the Cure Company in downtown LA. This one, which they gave me this bag here, the Cure Company. I got a pre-roll from the Cure Company and this is the cheapest pre-roll next to the Gelato pre-rolls I get in the next video. Pretty much out there on the market right now. This is a $5 out the door. It's FYPM is the brand and I don't know what that stands for but it was a $5 one gram pre-roll of gelato cake. So I thought that was pretty cool. It was just $5 straight out the door. I love to find products like that where they're a lot more affordable so that people can actually pick them up and try them. I know picking up these more expensive pre-rolls, even a Alien Labs pre-roll, which is gonna go for 15 to 20 uninfused can be pretty expensive for the everyday person wanting to pick up multiple. So trying these different products and showing you guys these different things just makes it a little more fun and a little more experience. The Cure Company is also a very big building on the outside. When you go inside, it's nice and clean. We're at the Cure Company. This is a giant building too. Like Stizzy. The wee pinata is so cute. Oh, this place is They have a very simple store layout. It's just a bar style. They have digital TV screen menus so you can see what you want. I thought it was cute. They had a little weed pinata, which I will put up in the corner there when I show you guys the little reference on the dispensary. But last and not least, I want to talk about Stizzy. This was the last dispensary I visited in downtown LA, that's why it's a lot darker in the video. But this was one where I was excited to go to because I knew it was huge. Walking into Stizzy downtown LA feels like you're walking into the Emerald Kingdom in The Wizard of Oz. That is an old movie for anyone who knows about The Wizard of Oz or just like go reference it, like going into the city of the Emerald City of Oz, like going through these green doors. That's how I feel like you're going through with Stizzy. You go through, you check in through these big doors and then they walk you in through like this little neon pathway and then you go in and it's like going into the Emerald Stizzy, uh, City, but like Stizzy City. And there's two giant vape pens on the wall. They're not like real vape pens, they're just displays, but they're huge and then it's divided into two sections. I'm gonna show you guys. This store is huge. This feels 
Like I'm literally walking into a nightclub for dispensaries, but there's no lounge or nightclub, which I'm bummed about. But what I am excited about was picking up some Stizzy Flower. And this is the Stizzy Indoor Premium line. This is their Zushi. Mm. Yes, I can smell the Skittles cross in here. This is going to smoke really well too. And I am excited. This was a good buy. Stizzy has a really good deal too. When you're a first time customer coming in, they give you, I believe, like 15 to 20% off. So to get this indoor eighth out the door was right under $20, which was amazing to get an indoor eighth of good quality. It looks great. It smells great. I'm sure it's going to smoke great. And for someone who wants something affordable and that's what they're looking for, that's the price tier they're at. I know I do talk about expensive brands like 710, even Kalia can get pretty expensive, but there are a lot more brands you guys see out here and that's why I like being able to review them and smell them in your face. As you guys saw in the first video when I did one of the hashes, it just wasn't something that I would personally smoke and I want you guys to see that first reaction when I open something up and try it. So I appreciate you guys for watching and getting through all 10 dispensaries with me and for me to be able to visit them and talk about them and share them and purchase something from each one of them that I'm going to try out in future videos or that I got to try out here. And as far as that gelato pre-roll, that was an amazing pre-roll. It's a very good, gelato is an easy flower to not mess up if you have a good genetic and strain of it, which traditional does. They have the branding, they have good quality flower. This tasted good. There was no harsh smoke from that gelato. So it's something where, like I said, if you can go back but pick up the lollipops pre-roll, that's the one that's like my priority favorite. But second runner up, something I knew that I would still be comfortable with and like was their gelato pre-roll. So I'm going to end this video here. This was a long one. I think in each one too, I'm going to break down more on dispensaries, more on pricing, more on the experience of going in there. And then, like I said, I do want to start rating them and showing them to you guys. I appreciate you sticking through with me on this video and I can't wait to see you on the next review and on my next dispensary tour. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.